Today, using a hydraulic press will test the durability of socket wrench heads. All the heads will be of the same size but from different manufacturers and, accordingly, different price ranges. Milwaukee, an American-made head, costing $2.99. Usually, Milwaukee produces the most expensive tools, but we also have a much more expensive head. We've got Bosch, from Germany, priced at $10.99. These heads are larger than Milwaukee's, designed for impact pneumatic tools. We also have regular non-impact heads for manual use. Force, made in Taiwan, priced at one and a half dollars. There's a hexagonal head and a 12-point head. So let's also check how much will they differ in terms of strength. There's also an impact head from the same manufacturer, priced at $2.99. Well, and of course, how can we do without a tool made by a highly developed and vanished civilization, a head of Soviet production? And the cheapest one in our test, priced at 25 cents, an unnamed head bought at Dollar Tree. By the way, the walls of impact sockets are significantly thicker than those of regular ones. The thickest wall, however, belongs to the Soviet head. The pressure in the hydraulic system of our 100-ton press is 250 atmospheres. For the 500-ton press, it's 450. And for the pressure in the barrel channel of the Kalashnikov assault rifle, it's 2,500 atmospheres. Before the test, we'll weigh all the sockets to see how much they differ in terms of mass. The hexagonal 4 socket weighs 61 grams. The 12-pointed one from the same manufacturer is 1 gram lighter. The impact 4 socket weighs almost 90 grams, which is 1.5 times more. The most expensive Bosch socket weighs 71 grams. The American Milwaukee one weighs 93 grams. The socket from Dollar Tree weighs 67 grams. The Soviet one weighs 75 grams. So, the heaviest socket is the American Milwaukee. How to conduct a comparative strength test of sockets? Logically, you need to lock the socket, put a handle on it, and rotate it until the socket cracks. However, the weak point in the socket handle length will be the handle. Considering that we have impact sockets, regular handles just won't fit. Therefore, we'll do it a bit differently. We'll simply break the socket with a comb. From what I've seen, broken sockets are always damaged at the point of contact with fastening. The opposite side, the one that fits into the square drive, never breaks. First up, the hexagonal 4 socket made in Taiwan. Socket cracked under a load of 6,850 kilograms. Now, out of curiosity, let's see what load the socket from the same manufacturer, but 12 pointed, can withstand. The 
12-pointed socket cracked under a force of 5.5 tons. That's almost 1.5 tons less than the hexagonal one. Now, let's see what load the cheapest socket from Dollar Tree can withstand. Three thousand and two hundred kilograms. This result is half of the previous ones. Now it's time for the impact sockets. Force, made in Taiwan. Socket cracked under a load of 12 tons. This figure is twice the load that the non impact socket from the same manufacturer endured. Now comes the turn of the most expensive socket, Bosch, for 1099. Seven thousand two hundred and sixty kilograms. Ideally, this is not a very good result as the previous socket, which is five times cheaper, withstood almost twice the load. The thing is, if we recall the weight of these sockets, this Bosch socket was one of the lightest, and consequently, its wall thickness was not the greatest. Next in line, the socket from American production, Milwaukee. Milwaukee gave in at a load of 11 tons. Well, and the last one in our test, the Soviet-made socket. The Soviet socket shattered into pieces under a load slightly over 4 tons. That's not a very good result, considering that this Soviet socket had a relatively large mass, and its wall thickness was the greatest. The impact socket force made in Taiwan performed very well. It withstood the highest load in our test, even surpassing the American-made Milwaukee socket taking into account that Milwaukee was slightly heavier. Let us know in the comments which socket in your opinion offers the best value for money.
Also, suggest in the comments what would you like to test with a hydraulic press in upcoming videos. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.